Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I'm highly excited today because I've got a new paint finishing technique I want to share with you. I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to talk you through it. But if you follow me on my Instagram, I'm going to show you how to do it on Instagram, like actually show you how to do it. The reason I'm not going to do it inside is because we're using this product here and it's got a little label on the outside of it. I'll just turn it around so as you can see. See the wee red thing down there? That little red thing means stop and caution and read the back. You need to be wearing safety glasses and you also need to be wearing a mask and you need to be in a well ventilated place. So outside is perfect. Now this is called Mercury Glass Paint Effects and it's fantastic. I have this issue with stems into a vase. I don't know why, but I always have. I don't mind real flowers into glass, but when it comes to artificial, I don't like it at all. So, the great thing about the mercury glass is you can take a glass vase like this and you can create something that looks like this. And the great thing is, is you can, it's, you, it's, almost, well it's not transparent but it sort of kind of is, but if you were to light a candle into there you would have this most amazing glow and they used to put this onto old mirrors and it's a fantastic paint, a fantastic effect which I'll show you again another day. But pretty much what's involved is you just need some a spray bottle with half vinegar and half water, you need your spray paint of course and you need a long stick like this and what what I've done onto this is I've just put a paper napkin into there. So with a very clean vase, what you do is you spray the inside with a fine mist of your mercury glass finish and then before it's dry, just a few seconds after you've done that, just go one potato, two potato, three potato, four potato, five potato, then mist it with the vinegar and water and when it starts to run little driplets, you just get in there and you dab away and that will lift some of the paint off, which will give you that lovely aged vintagey effect. And you just keep going until you get it to the effect that you want it to. So that I, this one here, I did four goes and this one here which I'm going to use to show you how to put these beautiful roses in lilac that had two applications. Now the, also what I want to share with you is on the outside I sprayed the outside of the glass it is supposed to be as I said you're supposed to spray the inside of it just to keep that up to just to keep you all up to speed with what I'm talking about. Now I will as I said I'll show you how to do this on my Instagram so just follow along I post every day all sorts of things that I do. Okay so with your vase I've got a couple of pieces of French eucalyptus, I've got some lovely colour lilies, I've got these, I love this vintage lavender colour, oh it's just, it's a beautiful beautiful rose and the colours are gorgeous and I love the little golden central crown that it's got, it's just gorgeous. So I've got three of those and I've also, get rid of all of this, look we don't need this, I've also got the, the little matching bud that goes with it and I've got some lilac. I am in love with lilac. I'm in love with all flowers, but lilac I love the best. Okay, to begin, get your foliage and to get your right height, when you get your foliage, it needs to just be that, the length of the vase again. I don't worry about cutting because you're not going to see the stems. I think that sometimes, you know, once you cut, you can never go back. So it's always nice to just bend your stems up if you're going to be reusing it. So two pieces of that, one over to there and one over to there. And the great thing about the foliage is it gives you this really lovely foundation on which to put your flowers. And I love the grey and the finish of my vase and then coming through to this mistiness of the gum at the top. Very nice. Right, one piece of, I've got two pieces of this lilac, so I'm going to put one over there and one over to that side. Now with this lilac, it's a little bit long so I'm just bending that up again that can oops oops 
perhaps I should cut, but I don't want to cut. We'll just bend that up. One can go down into there, and this other piece can go over to there. And I don't want this arranged as in neat and tidy. I want it to look like I just went outside and picked the blooms. So they can go into there. And I like that, like when you're picking it, you can get long bits and short bits. So I like that little short bit there and the longer bit over to this side. Now, with my rose buds, I'm just going to push those down and one over to there. Bring one in over to there, and the next bit can go in and over to there. Equal distance between your placements. With the bigger blooms, I'll take those into the middle, and they're just a little bit higher than the buds, which is nice. So you've got this lovely highs and lows on the top, and uh, don't forget to take your labels off when you're getting the flowers, because they're just a, a marker for an identification, and we don't want those. I have to leave them on, because I forget what the numbers are. Okay, they can go into there, and with the colour, I'm just going to put those in to the centre, just like so. Doesn't this just look, oh, it's vintage and rustic and gorgeous colours. Hold on, let me hide that label there, oops. So there we have a beautiful display. I've managed to hide the stems, but there's still just enough light going through that to just, and some luster to give it a little bit of sheen. I hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed sharing it with you, and I will see you all again another day. Thank you.